Boom goes the dynamite. All right, now to the mill. And that should be six inches. Right on six inches. Okay, let's go. All right, folks, so we found some two by six laying around, but we do need a few more. So we're gonna mill just a few and then we're gonna get that door in as soon as we can. enough with what we have here folks um, we may not even need those but if we do they're there anyways so we're gonna go to that door frame and see what we can do kicks in, that's when it gives us problems. You watch this. Watch this. Got my darling out there cutting today. As soon as that governor kicks in, it starts to work hard. Gonna do it here. Oh no, it did. Yeah, there we go, see? Did the governor dropped down. Emerging from the smoke is Miss Heather. <laughs> I said, and emerging from the smoke is Miss Heather. <laughs> okay.
now I need to cut it. You go like that. Yeah, turn the switch on. more than that of course but for now it'll be good now I have to cut this out of the way here this can come out. Other than that, that's about where the door is going to sit. See that? Mm -hmm. Well folks, it started to get late, so we figured we'd better hurry up and get this done. So we didn't uh, actually show the rest of the door that we did install. I'm going to turn that brightness down a little bit. I think it's too much. Maybe over there. But, but here, look at the glass in this door. You see that glass? Isn't that nice? So, now we turn it back up so you can see it. We'll go up a little more. So it does need weather stripping along the bottom. The piece is gone. This was a used door, it's not a brand new door. <laughs> There's no way we could have afforded a new door. But anyways, I made sure there was even space on either side of the door so we can fix that. I had to put a few little pieces in the top above the door header. And then we put our insulation in there, our vapor barrier, and we can put our covering on that, so that is going to be good, I think. But like I say, that uh, door there, it needs a new piece of weather stripping. I'm going to step outside, and I'm going to show you what it looks like from outside as well. Oh, that, eh? like nothing. Not bad, is it, Heather? No, Ooh, it's, it's really good. I really have the brightness turned up here, don't I? We're going to do this now. I have a bit of a, I have some tools there to clean up. I have a bit of a mess tomorrow to pick up, but this is how it looks. I removed that little side window that was on the side there, and the old door, it was just a single pane. It was an old used door we got a long time ago. This one's a used one as well, but now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sheet the inside in very, right now because I wanna put some lights on the other side and an electrical outlet down there so I can use it outside if I ever have to because it's uh, not so great when we go to uh, do something outside and we have to run an extension cord through and leave the door open. So I will install an outside outlet. Anyways, I just wanted to give you a quick view of how that looked. Um, also did something else out here too last night. Look at this, folks. I have this bank just about all gone now. I eventually want to get rid of this whole bank out here on the right. Try not to shake the camera too much. If I do, I'm sorry, folks. So that's how that's looking. I've dug in there. I got that just about all. There's a little section over here now. Now front, we started burning the brush. I'll show you, look at that. It's starting to look a little better, I think. A lot better, in fact. So these are some of the things I really wanted to get done, folks, before I got on the pole barn. I wanted to get that door changed. I want to get some outside lights hooked up. I want to get an outside receptacle and I want to try to paw through some of this and get some of this gone because 
I don't want to be traveling too close to the right because that's where our water line goes. So that's one of the reasons why I uh, wanted to get this all cleaned up so we're not running near our water line too much this winter. This is what it's looking like out here. Lots of good topsoil in there, I'll tell you. I'll just walk right around in a circle. How's that, folks? Hey, look at that. That is some really good topsoil. That'll be really good in the garden. And I can use some of it to, to landscape a little bit here. So, not much left to go there. We'll burn that all. We'll pull that out and burn it. We already started burning some right there. We burnt a bunch there and that's some new stuff to go on another fire. But anyways, that's probably it for this evening, folks. I just wanted to show you how that door turned out. It was getting late. It's probably around, oh, it's probably around eight o'clock now, quarter after eight. And I wanted to get that door done as fast as I could. So that's why I shut the camera off and just got to her. So it was nice. I tell you, it sure is nice having your own sawmill. You need a board, you need some lumber, you just fire that up. You got enough lumber to do whatever you need as long as you have the logs on hand. So anyways, you folks take care and uh, We'll talk at you another time, folks. Bye-bye, all.